Hello, everybody. I'm Lucky Jack 20. Welcome back to Jack 2 Return of Jafar. God damn it, I knew it was a matter of time. <sighs> I thought you already so did we... that one, though. Well, James did that. He was going to do that first. He was going to do that first in the beginning. I was like, "Well, yeah," because because we were joking all about that. I was like, "No, wait, it has to be official." Now it's official. Welcome back to what will be the finale. Uh, as you can see down below, metalheads are still everywhere. Like, they, and, I, they, and, they, and you know they, what? They and, and hey, you know what? Just in time too, Logan. It's tra it's trash day, and we gotta gotta remind remind this this madman who's let out, let out all these metalheads that he's a gar he's a garbage bag of disappointment. And it's time to take out the trash. <laughs> take out the trash. Uh, for those wondering what the heck that was and why this the whole thing kind of just started and why we realized we love these jokes too much, uh, look up uh, Smash Hall by Conjin. He actually a really, I think he's a really actually really cool like creator. Has a pretty funny sense of humor that's on par with what I like for some reason. Uh, Icky actually introduced me to him and yeah, just just some pretty fun stuff. Um, anywho, um, I believe Smash Hall is actually concluded as well. Let's see, I do more for Smash Five. Please God, let that be announced this year. I want to see more. Oh, um, oh, dude! If, if if they're trying to go for a 2018 release, they're obviously gonna. Well, they've already announced the Invitational for E3, so it's gonna. But happen. is that gonna? But is that gonna be of the new Smash game? Oh, yeah, Smash yes, it, yes, it is gonna be for the new Smash Brothers. Ooh, nice! Oh, please, because I want that's to... totally gonna be released this year. I mean, Smash it's has never it. had a delay in its entire Double Dame <laughs> franchise. Oh, that's true. Well, but, but who, but who knows? They, they've been good about release dates this past year, or so maybe they'll they'll actually make a Smash Brothers game that never that doesn't get delayed. I just, yeah, I just, I want, oh crap, the stealth ones are here with the camo and the gun. Uh, like, I, I want, like, I want, I also want new characters. Be and, nice. I mean, I mean, heck, I'm not against well, third Well, we parties, technically so. do have one already, Inklings. Mm -hmm. That's right, the Inklings are confirmed, I can't wait to see how they control, because they'll, they'll, they'll be new, they won't just be sword fire emblem again. Uh, yeah, and, and saying, I do it, want at least uh, one arms character. That would be yes. nice. I, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind my main man Sprig Band being there. But um, that being said, um, I think I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I really hope there aren't any, there aren't any major omissions from Smash Four because that roster, save for the the, the uh, clone characters, was perfect. Mm. Yeah. If they did, I wouldn't mind them at least getting rid of Corrin because I felt like out of all the DLC, he was the most unnecessary. In the yeah, I guess you're right. Even then, I even if I did kind of like his gameplay style. Bruto. Hello. What the? <laughs> Just kind of was, he's been hiding there for the last ten minutes waiting. So because we are lurker tribes, they're gonna use this blimp to lift it like a hot air balloon. Okay, here's the part where I have to call BS on this. We have to lift this balloon. Okay, okay. Okay. And the same as like, what are you yelling about? So this is okay, so let me just explain why this whole mission seems like BS to me. So the two Samoses are combining their powers to lift. Also, if you if you wonder why I'm not getting metalhead gems, because I had to re do this mini mission. Ah, okay. So the two Samoses are carrying the Rift Rider all the way to the other side of the Coliseum's entrance, so that we can um, so that we can you know use the metalhead balloons. Because apparently it's been found out. That the Rift Ring itself, the thing that we have to go into the portal. Uh -huh. If you recall from the beginning of the game, that was when that Rift Ring opened up back at Sandover Village. That was when all of the metalheads started escaping and populating the world. And you could, you could, I guess, say that that's how we inadvertently caused the apocalypse. So it was kind of our fault. Yep, all along. Um, wham, wham. But if you think about it, yeah, all the metalheads came through, and even and even the, their leader was spotted, like at the very like entrance, like yell roaring at us. So that means that the that the metalhead no, that the rift ring has to be somewhere near the metalheads, probably in their nest. So we need to use this blimp to take the rift rider back to the bullet, to, back to the nest. Hopefully, we'll kill the leaders. Uh, meanwhile, the two sandwiches have shared health bar, or have two different health bars, and if either of them die. It's over. In fact, I think if one of them dies, you cause a paradox somewhere. Um, but it's like, Kira's garage was on this side of the stadium. Why did they move it all the way on the far end just to carry it all the way back again? Yeah, dumb, dumb schmucks. Whatever. And... Come on. Well, it looks like it didn't take long. Get on the... Yeah. Oh, there it goes. I'm pumping away! Must be nice floating away while we die down here! Oh, well, I'm sure that won't be shot down at all. Jack, be careful. Sorry, Dad. Jesus, Daxter. What's your beef? Jack, 
Well, Gee, it's almost as if I don't want to die or something. That's true. No, Finn. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? But first off, let's get our last. Uh, let's get the last that I will get upgrade for now. Now that you carry the weight of darkness on your shoulders, I'm Jack. Cannot see doesn't this seem like an opportune time? This is the most opportune time. Actually, yes, because we're about to approach like the I'll end game. And what better way to do so than with uh, being invincible? Yep, so now, whenever I'm in dark jack mode, enemy shots will not deal damage to me anymore. Good. But I also don't want to keep this right now, because I want to, like, get back onto a car, which you can't do because he doesn't know how to drive stick shift when he's in dark jack mode, unfortunately. Devil damage. Well, at the very least, we still have we still have a dark dark jack on um, standby, even though we yeah. literally used up our yeah. uh, dark bomb. It's a weird thing, man. So Vin wants to go to the construction site, because apparently something happened in, like... He said core construction site, and I think Vin's dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poor Vin. Oh. So, yep, we're back here, which I think most fans wouldn't have been here since that, since the game Dexter was in. Oh, God, you're right. <gasps> What's going on? What the hell? Oh, this guy. Deep down in your darkest nightmare. Whoa. We've met before. Well, the redheads are taking their sweet time shooting at him. Yeah, seriously. I mean, he's just an old man. Guess, uh, guess what? He's had a double identity. Of course. Jack! Oops. Well, look at that. Meet Poor metal the bad core. guy. Yep, metal core. Does that mean Clancy Brown wasn't evil after all? Well, they're both, they're both evil. Look at that freaking green sword he's got. Holy shit. Yeah, seriously. The city must die, and we all die. Well, at least he tries to fight. Oh, well. Oh, that, about, that, that went about as well as I thought it would. I will find that stone if I have to crush this city one brick at a time. And now he's after the stone. He just kind of leaves us. You are the supreme weapon, Jack. I'm the Krabby Patty I secret formula? You. Not that kind of secret <laughs> weapon. Actually, you know what? You asked for it. Just remember. In here, my heart actually knew arteries. And he has another bomb, and he's about to detonate that thing right here. Please, well, Daxter. That's gonna be fun. Would have been cool if this was a mini game. Hmm. What kind of mini game? Wait, or else Tolls kind of blind. And there you go. Oh, he saved the day. Kind of. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, bye, Praxis. Take that, fucker. And Jovi. What? Ah, Jovi! <laughs> Jovi! Sorry, yeah, that, that, was the per that was the per that was the perfect like what? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I have fun here. But yeah, no, he's he's actually like he is we like officially do. dead. Yeah, he's dead, and we'll never have gotcha. to worry about him again. And spoilers, which I'm not gonna elaborate for hype's sake. He's like the only guy in this game who actually stays dead. Anywho. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> anyway. All right, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. In Torn case and I see any other deaths. But, okay, well, I mean, of course, we're, I mean, okay, well, I mean, okay, that goes without saying, we're about to kill Metal, we're about to kill, okay, Torn, I'm sorry, I was talking over Torn and Ashen, so, they believe that, because it's like a hive mind, where it's like everyone's all fighting for one another, if we take out the Metalhead leader, which, okay, to quickly retract that statement, it's, it goes without saying, we're gonna now go and take down Metal Core and kill him, and he'll be dead for good. Of course. So, it's time to take the trans the transit out for one last mission, which is to go yeah. to the Metalhead Nest itself. Well then, let's hit a ride. Ooh. Well, this is we're out of the water. Turn to the cutscene. Hooray! Shelly, take us home. Well, by home, I mean t take us take us to hell. Take us to the exact opposite place of what home would be considered. We're actually going out to the Wasteland, which, before the third game, this is our first actual, like, taste of what the Wasteland is like. Oh, huh. what do you know? Gotcha. I always, thought, I always thought the Wasteland was just a Jack 3 thing. Well, they they kind of call this way wasteland. And like it, it, I kind of see the similarities in dust and desert. And yeah, I can I can see it too. But welcome to the final level of the game. And oh, as always, need to be armed up. And so I guess while we're and, and yeah, now we have these actual like ninja like like now we now we're starting to see more of the bug like metalheads. Oh okay. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, and Dax was like, oh good, it's great to be home. I wish he kept that. What was that gun thing he used? Like that sprayed the green crap? It was just a bug. It was just a straight up bug spray. I think he used green eco. <laughs> yeah. Nice. 
doesn't make sense. Well, like, he had, well, he had he had the spray. He had a fly swatter, and oh, yeah, the fly swatter was cool. The electric yeah, the fly. Zap Actually, you know what? Just real quick, kind of a missed opportunity when they were talking about like the Jack HD stuff. I'm surprised they didn't put Dexter on that as well. Yeah, that, that and is, Lost Frontier. That is true. Like out of all the PSP related Jack and Ratchet stuff, Dexter was the only game that never got enough uh, PS2 re-release. Wait, wait, Lost Frontier got a PS2 PS2 re-release? Yeah, it did. Huh? I know got Secret Agent Clank did. Yes. Yeah, no, yeah, that one got one. I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, that one got one. Uh, Size Matters got a PS2 re-release. Of all things. That one was. I, I remember actually, like, guess I straight up like one of the first bosses you fight in space. I just remember getting stuck on it because it was actually really difficult. It's mm -hmm. like a shoot 'em up style thing. And it, eh. It's one of those. Yeah. Just yeah, Dasher's the only one that. And then you back on it. That kind of surprises me. I think. I think there's. Yeah, especially like... considering how it actually ties a little to the narrative. Yeah. Oh. What crew was mentioning in the last part, this was the giant weapon that Mar created in order to blast through the nest. Is this some sort of eclipse cannon? It pretty much is, yeah. And it uses or, or, no, 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 it's, it's an oversized super scope. I see your point. Come on, Jack. This place is worth fighting for. Well, actually, if it's an eclipse cannon, by the way, we're actually going to use it. Never mind. And we're not going to. trying to stop it. And be, and be careful. And, oh, and, and just be, be wary, we're not. Bam! Jack's yeah. enjoying this too much. And yeah, we're not blowing out the precursor storm, we just were using some of its power. Will it be different? We're good. Let's go take care of business. Oh yeah, that's that was um Oh yeah, that's um good commercial fodder. I, I remember seeing that in the commercial. Anyway. Oh the, oh the, oh that oh that's what it oh that was in the original commercial? Yeah. I, oh, I didn't remember that. Oh, man, I haven't seen a lot of... I think that's what, like, I think that's what threw me off with this game so much, is, like, this is, like, there were there was a time where I didn't even really see a lot of game commercials on TV, so, like, games like this completely took, yeah, like, me threw too. me for a loop when I saw what it was actually like. Uh, Don't mind the Metalhead Beasts. You just saw, you just saw like, saw the box art and scores one day, it's like... Oh. Well, because, yeah, because, like, yeah. I, I love the first Jack and Daxter, and, like, it's so, again, it's so weird returning back to this game and, like... Especially comparing to the first one, like, this game did so much different, but yet, kind of, like, it, it did still keep a lot of what made the first one fun. Oh, yeah, it, it feels like a, it feels like a natural update to the, the original gameplay formula, it's just, the tone of it all is what, is what, is what pretty much gave us the whole bat whiplash of emotions. Yeah. Actually, speaking of natural updates, talking about game commercials, you know, kind of remind me of how I was first exposed to the Sly Cooper series. Like, I think it was through commercials of Sly 2. Like, the, the one TV commercial, I'm not sure how many of you guys saw it, but the one TV commercial where it's, like, the Sly gang, like, talking to the viewer about recruiting them in, as part of their group. I don't remember that one. I don't think I saw that one. Huh. I'll have to look into that. I think I, I remember seeing one for Sly 3 or, or something, I think. But, uh, oh, and by the way, I'm not collecting any more of the Metalhead Skull Gems because, frankly, I don't need them anymore. Yeah, like, you're practically at the end, end game. game. If you get, I think, 50 more or something, you can get Giant Dark Jack, which if you push it again, you just become a lot taller and more stronger. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm fine with Dark... That, that's, like, one last little, like, secret, like, bonus power-up. And that's, like, if I was to, like, from this point, go all the way back into the... Like, go all the way back to Haven City, which you could do if you wanted to. You could backtrack, but there's no point. We're, we're, we're here. We're at the lair. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be like being... It's, at, kinda, like, it's like... It's like... It's like in a Zelda game where you're practically, or if a Zelda or Final Fantasy game, you're practically at the. Uh, you decided to join. The boy. <gasps> Not the boy. I almost forgot about the little guy. The boy will now play his final part. Not this time. Oh, but this child is such a part of this, such a part of you. Of course. You recognize him. The boy is you, Jack. <gasps> Son of yep, bitch. Who would I guess? Similar, yeah, similar yeah, aside, from, aside from everyone. <laughs> yeah, similar to young Samos, we started off here. Mm-hmm. All fairness, all fairness. In all fairness, I played. I technically played Jack three before I played this game. So, and then I saw the um, character model viewer. That kind of spoiled spoiled me for this game. Oh yeah. So we've been. So since we've been tampered with Dark Eco by Baron Practice, we can't. Yeah, apparently this precursor stone is not a stone. It's an egg for our precursor. Oh. Mm. And unfortunately, only one who is pure of light or whatever can open it, and unfortunately, we have dark ego in us. Ah. And this whole reason, apparently the whole reason why Haven City exists was because it was to protect this last egg from him. 
Because well, if he uh, eats huh. it, he would become all stoppable. Uh, I think you forget well, you good to see where that how well that turned out. Zap! He could have shot us, but instead he knocks the platform down. Welcome to our final boss. Net, metal core. Metal oh, core. look at that! We're even dark! Ooh. Let's, let's rock. But let's go back to normal oh. because cutscene purposes. <laughs> oh, damn it. Which is stupid because it even it. wasted my dark, whatever, plot armor. That's so dumb. Like, that, we should have just played, we, played this entire boss fight as Dark Jack. That would have been so cool. Would make but, sense. But yeah, so as normal, boss has three phases. And your guns are your best friends. Of course, because obviously, gotcha. he, of course, of course, he's he's dangling on top of what, uh, what looks like a pet. Yeah, and I see no reason to uh, not take advantage of that bit. Oh, he spawned in more friends. Ah, that would explain it. That, uh, hole, that hole is where all the uh, metalhead eggs are in. Oh God, I just really, but that mean he's like the queen, so he's the mother. well, he is the leader, so why not? That's a woman. No, he's not a woman. No, no he just re he can just reproduce asexually. He's a monster. I hate when no, people are like, I, I hate when people are like, are there genders? Like, okay, it's an alien thing. I think it's safe to assume genders don't really apply to their species. Yeah. I don't know why, but that kind of reminds me of, like, the short itself is just kind of, eh, but I love the way it ended. Like, this one Yoshi short, where it's like he goes into a sugar coma, and it's like, and the other Yoshis are trying to help him out. It's like, I won't let him die a virgin. Wait, he's a virgin? Dude, come on, have you seen any other girl Yoshis on this island? Oh, I remember Wait, that short. They all lay eggs. I, I, so does I that mean I, that... I, oh, yeah, that's right. I think uh, Kerberfor was uh, the black Yoshi in that short. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he might have been, yeah. Careful. All right. Doing good, doing good. Just, yeah, yeah I'll consider this. Dude, this seems like a pretty dude. pathetic boss fight. Yeah, you're not having too much trouble with it. Well, this part, well, bear in mind, I died, like, twice, because mm -hmm. I cut I uh, it video editing. But no, but um, for this part, just keep your distance and be sure to roll away when he does these attacks. And, uh, yeah, keeping your range and having a good supply of guns is a whoa, good whoa. tactic. And just run around this little donut yeah, shoe platform. Oh, and careful with the freaking shockwaves. <laughs> he just trips and falls and then lets out a dark eco-esque shockwave. Yeah, I was about to say, that didn't really look like, that didn't really look too impactful. That just, it looked like he just did it on accident, like, oh, I'm he, sorry. He, he, just, he just pulled the hole, whoops, I fed. And unfortunately, because of the way that I was able to beat the boss, didn't really need, need Dark Jack of all things. That sucks. Again, that would have been made for a decent climax. But in fact, honestly, with this entire playthrough, and in one, Wait last, a time, minute. one last attempt, he tries to escape the rift. Ow! And dies. <laughs> Just like that. Because he tried to but escape the time machine. Say, he tried to escape through time, but it didn't work. Crack open that egg. Yeah, not. But yeah, honestly, now that you think about it, it's like, you know, Logan's playthrough kind of shows that from a gameplay standpoint, Dark Jack's kind of devil damn pointless. In times, yeah, he's his whole purpose was to be more of a screen nuke than anything. Yeah. Goodbye, Precursor. Forever. Before the third game wrecked on some of this, but anyway. That's true. I'm afraid you're I mean, we may have taken out the king, king of the metalheads, but there's still a thing in Jack 3. So unfortunately, so unfortunately, we realized that this kind of was where we should stay, and honestly, the past must now be behind us, and we're going to send the old Samos to somehow get, to somehow have Kira as a child, I don't know how, but... Oh, oh, hang on. And trust me on this, stay away from any Got it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. I mean, I was like, Jack, oh, you fool, you've altered the timeline. I was like, what? And then just everything changed because he didn't get stung by like 10,000 One Piece. And actually, I was about to say, oh, and also remember, if your best friend is with you and you have the risk of falling into a pit of dork eco, make sure he goes first. <laughs> that's good, but yeah, that's it. Goodbye. And back to the past they go. Wow. There you go. It's funny. The boy won't remember any of this. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, he was he was a young he was young. Hmm. That's that. Do we, we we've completed the time loop with some things like oh well who oh. Bruter is our captain of the guard now. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's a new place. Hmm. Oh. 
the new governor Ooh. of this city. Ash is taking over. <laughs> the commander of the new Crimson nice. Guard to escort me to an official function. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. I mean, you can start with building. I mean, boss. I mean, Poopa. Go. We get to celebrate with our new friends. <laughs> Besides, tough guy, I'm dying to see you dance. Not like. Mm. Uh, if only those two actually were an actual romance thing. I know, right? Goodbye, Hip Hog Haven. Welcome to the Naughty Otso. Woo! <laughs> With a good trophy. God damn. Ha. We must not forget Vin and all the others yeah. who sacrificed oh, yeah. their lives to defeat this evil and protect the child. Well, at least we still have the I still have the one. That little hmm? boy was me. Better times, huh? You miss him, huh? You know, the kid. We've never even saw the kid. Handsome hero. Please. Hey, that's enough for you, uh, lady. I'm cutting you off. Oh. Dude. She gets real mean when she's like She's this. had too much. Uh oh. Something about rubber tubing and certain parts of your mother. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <gasps> hey! 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 Somehow alive. You cherry. Oh, but I knew that. Anyway. <laughs> he is a true badass to the end. Hell yeah. And there's the naughty also logo. <laughs> He's a good guy. He's a good guy. His menace are history, and somewhere out there, an but now the most important question. What are we going to do with that alligator dog? Yeah. We're going to keep us. him until he becomes no use to us in the third game and probably have him for dinner somewhere and or make a new pair of boots. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? Warm <laughs> milk? Poopsie bear, buddy, you just blew your image. Yeah, was there a reason he mentioned all that? No, in fact, that joke is actually, I think, one of the worst handled ones in the game, but it's all done. Yeah. They just really wanted to have an excuse for Felomore to say Poopsie Bear, didn't they? Right, Samos? Right, Samos? like, sorry, I didn't hear you, Jack. Wait. You know something, don't you, Feather Breath? Who? Me? Oh, no, we're just guessing, right, Samos? Hey, Maro, only time to tell. Now, you're gonna tell right now! Oh, jeez! Eh, there. And thus started a beautiful rivalry. Oh, that looks fun. Thank you. Do my boy. A future awaits. And that's it? Oh, In memory of Morgan. Memory of Morgan. I wonder who. The, ah, I gotta. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm are. not gonna. I'm not gonna mince words. Apart from the, apart from the very, the very kind and heartfelt dedication, I feel like the ending just was kind of a little like tossed together. Like the tone and the dialogue seemed a little stiff for some reason. Eh, but I, I've yeah. seen worse. But that, but that aside, like, yeah, that was Jack too. Uh, honestly, one of the most like polarizing, I think, of the PS2 games for a while in terms of if you were a big Jack. A Daxter One fan, like depending on like how you took to the clear changes they made to both the like both the structure and the design of the game, and also some would argue this was I think the first game to really start like this was one of the first games to really start Naughty Dog on its path to store more story centric character driven games like Uncharted, The Last of Us. You know, games where like it's definitely more based around the characters interacting with one another than just the gameplay by itself. Yeah, but, not to not not to I mention like... this was also around the time when they were actually starting to well get go off of their or get off of their kid friendly esque image and start going into more risque territory. And well, clearly shows here and with future games afterwards as well. But, yeah, and I, I think it I think yeah. it did the oh, I was gonna say I think it did them well and that like kind of like how. Okay, probably not as expertly handled, but kind of like how the Toy Story movies grew up with their main, like, demographic viewing base. Or, like, yeah. it stayed around mm -hmm. the same age as the viewing base, which I thought was a really clever way of handling things. I feel like Naughty Dog was more or less Wait, doing Ashland that. was Wonder Woman? Fahrenheit? Mm -hmm. Susan Eisenberg? Mm -hmm. Repeat Dare? They, they always get yeah, some Susan really Eisenberg, good voice actors. the person that voices Wonder Woman in Justice League. Oh, I didn't what know do you that. know? That's cool. That, yeah. Uh, well, okay. Let, let's give let's give Pipe some time to like look through all this. Okay. So yeah. It was not that it, oh, not sorry. That it wasn't Jack. It was Torn and Jinx who shared the same voice actor. Not oh. Okay. Oh, you, oh. Oh. Susan was also the computer voice that we were hearing at all times whenever we were uh, hearing like a, the AI like announcing 
yep. the new uh, race is And I did notice. Swiftly. And I did notice really earlier that Pecker was voiced by Chris Cox, who is... I know him as Hawkeye from the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. I want to say there's something that I think you guys might recognize him from, but Thank I'm having you. a hard time placing the name. Thank you, Kevin Got a Pulse prior. But no, <laughs> um, that's about it. I mean, uh, actually, now that, and going, back, going back real quick, like, I guess I would... Help, I thought something seemed familiar about Ashlyn's voice. Like, yeah. I, I'm surprised I didn't, didn't, didn't really make the connection earlier. Yeah, the same, like sort of deeper, mature tone. I, I can see that. Uh, who vo is she the same one who also voiced Hawk Girl? Or no, it's not. It's not. That's a different actress. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that was... a completely different actress. Um, Maria Canal something along those lines. Uh, she was also Pauline and Danny Phantom. Huh. Oh, interesting. Well, I think. But, all, uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, yeah, we're kind of we're kind of rambling on, but in all fairness, these credit se this credit sequence is pretty freaking long. Well, because, uh, yeah, we had another three minutes. So, yeah, that was about it. Um, the game, the world did a really nice job of that. I think it handled it well. The third game is definitely going to be a much more optimized feel to it all, I think. Agreed. Which I'll be getting to that, which I'll be getting to that soon. Oh, crap, i got to get back to recording that. Um, all right, before I start talking for other people, Hype, what did you think of this little ride we took you on? That was interesting. Like, I definitely appreciate certain aspects that this did. Like, I tried to... Um, uh... I don't know why I'm getting tongue-tied for some reason. I guess a part of me did kind of miss the more, I guess for lack of a better word, timelessness that the first game had. But that, I'm not going to decry the tone and type of story that the second game has. Like, it definitely has its own, you know, intrigue to it. It's just a matter of, you know, kind of like what Logan says. If you're a fan of the first game, it's definitely going to take some getting used to. And the finer details of the plot, I'll admit, are a little bit ludicrous like not even if you're a fan of the series just more like the whole like time twin thing still makes no damn sense i'm not gonna lie well okay but oh i think time twin may have been the worst word to kind of describe it basically he was saying that he was like oh so i have a tw i have there are two of me through time and he, he may he, he may as well have just said that oh this is the older future me because yeah the well not I, even just like well i just mean more so the way they handled the concept of it not so much the name okay but yeah I can see that. Again, the tone was def the tone was handled a lot differently than the first one, and honestly, like, mm -hmm. just time wise, just in terms of like how, even in terms of how long it takes to beat, I would always see myself returning to the first game a lot more than this one. Well, if not, if not because of how how freaking brutally difficult this one is, by comparison. Yeah, that's it. yeah, yeah. You'll see in the third game and how they handle it. I, I this game I think is definitely one of the this one's the one that holds your hand the least. And also puts you against some of the more harder challenges, but the time fact, based, and yeah. But wait a minute, isn't the fact that this game is brutally hard a reason why it's the best in the series? Because brutally hard games are in nowadays. No, no. It's brutally, I, it's brutally hard for the wrong reasons. I think the story is really nice, but I just I feel like the sto I feel like it was a little too narrow in places. I think the the story of the third game is a lot more fantastical and thus more what I come to expect from Jack and Daxter games. So that one, mm -hmm. this one, I feel like. This one, I guess I would argue, is the weakest of the trilogy, just based on experience alone. But it's still a really fun game. Uh, James, your thoughts? Yeah, speaking of experience, like, I th I've said it before, like, I didn't get too far into Jack 2. Like, I only got as far as, like, the first Baron Praxis fight, and I just left it at that. And, well, I mean, seeing, looking throughout the rest of the game, I can sort of see why, just, be again, like, the whole check, the loot, the checkpoint system just is bad. And well, they they put they pit you against so much opposition, like, and and it kind of makes the whole eight eight hit point thing kind of pointless because you end up taking like two points of damage most of the time anyway. Right. But that all that aside, I mean, first for for a follow up to the first game, I think, do think it's handled relatively well aside from my previous bitchings, and like, <laughs> I mean. I know we bring up the whole fact that it's darker than the first game, and it definitely, sh it's like, its tone is, like, pretty grimdark and all that, but looking back on it, this game is actually a lot more lighthearted than I than we gave it credit for. I mean, especially when you look at Jack. Like, people make such a big deal of how he, how about he's much more angrier in a sense. Honest, no, honest, yeah. Honestly, he just, honestly, he just seems like he gets, gets in on the fun just as much as Dexter does, and that's something I, I can really appreciate. Yeah. I think it. I think it's just up through the first act when he's like still dealing with everything and like yeah he's, he's getting he's, he's still new to the whole talking thing. But like yeah, yeah, I feel like I definitely feel like by the mid game and definitely by the end of the game now he's got into his more like, and you'll see more in the third in the third game. He he's definitely more of the laid back like casual hero kind of person. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, pretty much. Just that's that's pretty much all I get out of Jack Jack Two. Like I, I mean, I probably won't finish the game anytime soon. I'd rather just do finish up Jack Three because that's like the one I've had the most experience with. I which <laughs> is I know kind of paradoxical considering you kind of do need need like information from this game in order to understand a lick of what's going on in Jack Three. But I was a dumb kid back then. I just took what I took what I got for granted and left it at that. That's it, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're pretty again. We're done with Jack Two. We're moving on to Jack Three next. Hi. And stay tuned for the future. The future. Woo! Oh, and the, actually, that also go, that also reminds me. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do this or not, but I'm considering doing a commentary of Daxter, the PSP game. So I'll be down for that. Mm. It's just a matter of if I could actually beat the last bit of it with those freaking Crimson Guards. Ugh, that part sucks. That oh. said, I'm J- I'm James Mainstream. Lucky Jack Twenty. And tune in next time where after Jack will finally get around. Uh, uh, hang on. Tune in next time where after we get to Daxter, we'll eventually get to Jack 3, Jack's Magical World. <gasps> Bye, everybody. Till next time, everybody.